I want to turn these two pallets into shelves and the cool thing about that is I don't have to entirely dismember them. Now I gotta cut down the middle here. The only problem is that cut goes through some nails. Those cuts with a dull metal cutting blade were just torture, so on the other pallet I cut much closer to the nails with a circular saw. Got to sand it a little bit to avoid splinters. And now ripping down some 2x4s and 2x6s to make the frame for the shelves. The way this goes together, I'm going to have posts in the corners and then these horizontals that go in between and between those will be the pieces of pallet. At first I was going to put double tenons in here, but these pieces were too short if I cut two out of one piece of 2 by 4 to cut tenons on there, so I'm going to use floating tenons instead. So there's going to be two mortises in this part here, and then two slots on the end here, and the floating tenon in between. I cut the mortises extra long so that the floating tenons could actually have this sort of extra corner in here for sort of a gusset support. And it's even better if the grain of these tenons actually follows that diagonal. So it serves like a diagonal brace like this. So I have to cut these all out of some flat stock marked on there at an odd angle. I got the locations for all my mortises laid out and I'm going to cut these on my panter router using two mortise and tenon templates and these are actually segmented mortise and tenon templates where you can put together different pieces to make different size tenon templates. Got my 32 slot mortises cut, that took about 25 minutes. Now I need to cut these slots the same width and spacing in the ends of these pieces. And I'll do that on the panther rotor using the same templates. For just cutting these open-ended slots, I swapped out uh, these pieces for open-ended pieces and that way it's much easier to go from one slot to the other. I'm adding these little blocks to support the shelf decking that I made out of pallets. I don't want to rely on the glue entirely, so I'm adding a few brad nails to my joints. Here's showing off the sniffs against racking. So this shelf half is just clamped to this post, not touching the ground, and let's hang off of there. And that's without any bracing, so that's just the stiffness of these joints against racking. And next I have to put the decking between the frames.
Now with the shelf deck screwed in, I get some stiffness going this way, but not enough. And those diagonals sure stiffen it up. Now I just gotta move the shelf to where I need it. Here's a before shot of where the shelf is going. Well, tidying up and filling the shelf took far longer than it makes any sense to film. And with all this open space now, the kids have already been writing their toys down here. And it's questionable how much time it takes to build a shelf like that. Here's another one I built that I made a video about years ago. And by comparison, here's one from Walmart. It uh, didn't cost very much, was really quick to put together. But it's really quite insubstantial compared to the ones I build.